kids! In today's story, we talk about the faithfulness of God and how a man named Joshua was able to lead the Israelites to the Promised Land. This wasn't easy, though. The first generation of Israelites didn't trust God, which made it hard for them to move forward. We will soon learn that God always keeps His promise. But for now, we enter the wilderness! Oh, look! Here are two grumpy first-generation Israelites. Hey, man. It's been 40 years of just us walking around. Where's this so-called promised land? <laughs> Funny enough, I sent out a spy earlier to find it. I think he'll be coming around to deliver it soon. A spy? Hopefully God won't be too mad about that. He did say to trust them. <laughs> Come on, man. What else we can we do? I'm so tired of seeing the same old dirt. Sand. Let's just find it ourselves and make the land ours. That sounds kind of crazy. I don't know. Oh, look. The spy's sponsor eagle is coming around to deliver his message. The two men looked up to see a sponsor eagle dropping a letter. What does it say? We found the promised land. It's across the Jordan River. It's in Jericho. Be careful. Big burly Hulk looking men. Very scary. Almost peed my pants. There's no way that I'm going over there to take their land. We'll all get beaten up super bad. No, no, no. This is not happening. This can't be the promised land. I thought we are going to get a whole new buffet. Why are big men there instead? Oh. No! Just like how the grumpy men said, the promised land was indeed being occupied by a group of burly men. Obviously, this isn't enough to stop the almighty God. But the first generation of these grumpy men just didn't believe him. Of course, God knew this. He knew that these first generation of people were not faithful. So he waited and waited until they began to leave the group or until they were too old to keep traveling. And I'm sick of this. My bones can't handle this. Look at my ankles. They're almost gone. <sighs> All that was left of the traveling group is now the second generation of Israelites. This group of people relied on God and trusted Him to lead and find the Promised Land. God has been leading us to the Promised Land this entire time. We would be lost without Him. For sure! We definitely would have fallen into some quicksand or been eaten by a snake already. I'm just so grateful that we're being led, because God always keeps His promises. Yeah! God, acknowledging this faithful group of Israelites, spoke to Joshua. Psst! Psst, Joshua, Joshua! Wake up really quick! Huh? Wait, what? Is it morning already? No, no, it's just me. I have something important to tell you, so listen up. Okay, God. What is that you need from me? Listen. We're going to be entering the Promised Land soon. Promised Land?! Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Hey, man, listen, listen! Sorry, sorry. I just got a bit excited. Anyways, anyways. I need you to lead the Israelites, okay? We're gonna help them cross the Jordan River. Huh? The Jordan River? That sounds like a big task for me. Don't worry. I know you can do it. Okay, fine. I'll trust you. Also, there are big burly men on the other side of that river that are currently occupying Jericho. But, I have a plan. Ooh, I love plans. Alright. When you get to the other side of the river, on the seventh day, march around the city seven times, and Jericho will be ours. Hmm, that is a very interesting plan, but I'll see it through. And so, Joshua, with the trust of God, parted the Jordan River and led the Israelites into the Holy Land. Oh my goodness! We did it! We're on the other side! I can't believe it! We made it! Wait, 
Remember those old grumpy men a couple years ago? Yeah, why? I think they were right about the big burly man. A couple of them are starting to look over there. Hey, hey, no need to fear. We have God by our side, and we promised, and he promised us that this was going to be our land. Plus, he has a cool plan. So Joshua informed everyone of God's grand plan. In Joshua 6, 3-5, it says, March around the city once with all the armed men. Do this for six days. Have seven priests carry trumpets of ram's horns in front of the ark. On the seventh day, march around the city seven times with the priests blowing the trumpets. When you hear them sound a long blast on the trumpets, have the whole army give a loud shout. Then the walls of the city will collapse and the army will go up. Everyone straight in. Oh my gosh, what's happening? Woo! It worked! I knew it! God's plan worked. He kept his promise after all this time. We finally have a place to call home. And so, God has fulfilled his promise that he made with the Israelites' ancestors to bring the people into the promised land. God is always faithful and he loves his children very much. See you next time!